Hi you guys, Erin here today showing you one of my most favorite things in the whole world. I am making medicinal mushroom tea. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, then you probably know that I am an avid medicinal mushroom huntress. I go and harvest my own mushrooms from the surrounding forest from where I live, um, but that's not necessary. Any kind of medicinal mushroom is extremely beneficial to your immune system. I went through um, a very devastating experience with a candida overgrowth. Um, a lot of people with candida are a little bit fearful of medicinal mushrooms because candida is a fungus and mushrooms are obviously a fungus. But medicinal mushrooms are definitely beneficial to people who are suffering with candida overgrowth, okay? Um, or just immune, autoimmune disease, anything like that. Medicinal mushrooms is what you wanna go for, unless for some reason you are uh, allergic to mushrooms, which is very rare, but it can happen. Regardless, I am going to show you how I make medicinal mushroom tea. And how, what I'm showing you today, it doesn't matter what kind of mushrooms you're using. It doesn't matter if you're using turkey tails or if you're using shaga or you're using reishi. It, this is how I recommend doing it. Okay, so first we're gonna start with my water over here. Um, it's just barely, okay, with water, we, want it, we don't want it to come to a rapid boil. We want it to be at a very, very low simmer. So the bubbles are just starting to pop up over here. You can see like one or two, but it might be kind of hard to see with the camera. Um, but before I go any further, I need to talk about water for a minute because it's really important that you're using quality water. I go and harvest my own spring water and then I run it through this water filter. This is a British Burkefield water filter. This is an excellent water filter. Even if you're getting your water from a tap, I strongly recommend filtering your water with the British Berkey, that's what we call it, the big Berkey. Okay, so water is important. Now, the main purpose for me making this video today is because I've given some of my mushrooms away to people and then they share their experience and they rapidly boil the water that they're making the tea with, which is not ideal. It ruins the structure of the water really. So. Again, reiterating that we do not want our water to come to a full boil, just barely bubbles popping up here and there. Okay, now let's go over to the mushrooms. So what I have here today, this is called Gonoderma bronii right here. This is one that I harvested. Here's the, this is a big chunk of it. This mushroom is probably a 50 year old mushroom um, off of a bay laurel. Um, this is a Garricon mushroom. And this is red belted polypore. Um, these look like this before we break them up. Um, and what is a very common mushroom is, I don't know if we can get the camera to zoom in on this or not, but this is called the turkey tail mushroom because it looks like a turkey tail. And this right here is a false turkey tail mushroom. They're both medicinal. Okay, you can see the back of them, the, Regular turkey tail is a little more white and the false turkey tail is a little more orange. Regardless, they're both medicinal. Now you can see how different these mushrooms all are from each other. Doesn't matter, I wanna brew them the same way. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a little bit of this. Let's see, maybe a little bit more of that. Okay, so can we show? The water, okay, this is probably close to 20 ounces of water. You can see how many mushrooms I put in there. But it really, it depends on what you want. It depends on if you want your tea extremely strong or if you're just doing this for maintenance, you know, that sort of thing. But it's important to remember that some, sometimes um, we'll make medicinal mushroom tea extremely strong, but our body can only absorb so many of the vitamins and the, the nutrients from the mushroom at once, so I try not to get too carried away. Regardless, I'm gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes, and then it will come out like this, which I've already done here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my stainless steel strainer right here, and I'm going to pour that into there. 
Okay, so now I've got my mushroom tea. Okay, let's give that a whirl. Yes, so good. Okay, okay, now I've got all these leftover mushrooms. Because I only let this simmer for about 20 minutes, I can reuse these same mushrooms like three or four times and it'll just keep making more and more mushroom tea. Or you can take these mushrooms and put them into alcohol, like a high percentage alcohol, like, like vodka or something. Personally, I strongly recommend if you're gonna do this to use organic alcohol. I like to use alcohol, uh, organic vodka or organic brandy if you can get your hands on that. You put these leftover mushrooms into that vodka and let it sit for like six months, then you've got yourself a medicinal mushroom tincture. Or you can just keep reusing these mushrooms, you know, like I said, three or four times. So I think that about wraps it up, wraps it up, <laughs> wraps it up for you guys about how to make medicinal mushroom tea. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. Feel free to reach out to me. I'm active on Instagram. My screen name on Instagram is imaginal underscore cell. You can send me a direct message there if you have any questions about this. And thanks for watching, guys. Namaste to all of you.